everybody, I'm back for another quick video. Um, what you can see here is my original Pan Am edition Traveler's Notebook in the blue. This is the original one. And this is my new one that I just got last week, the Passport in the blue. You can see the different markings here. I'll zoom in so you can see that. But the reason we're here is because of this. All I did was cut open or pull the tab and let me get everything out of here. Ooh, look, I got a grape Tootsie Pop this time. This is, I'll get my invoice out of the way too. I decided that I need some scissors, there's tape there. <laughs> there we go. After getting the new Passport Blue and noticing that the leather is different, this is my original blue. It kind of came like, like sort of a waxy sort of a feel, and this one came with sort of a suede feel. I decided to order the standard size of the new blue Traveler's Notebook. So just like with all of the Goulet pens, it came with a little piece of artwork. And it says, enjoy Brenda. And this is Lamy, and it's the blue, the blue ink from Lamy. Very cute. And then here you can see some of the different inks and their information. Gulepens.com. Now, let me get the scissors out of the way. Let's unpackage this. So, just like with the other one, it was in a plastic bag, and then it had this plastic wrap around. And see, it says blue. And just like with the other one, here's the contents that are enclosed. The, the um, cotton bag, the leather cover, a notebook refill that's blank, and extra spare rubber band. Okay. And on the front, just like with the passport, it's just a little bit longer, saying that there's more. More stuff. Now, so again, that same elastic. So just like with the Passport, it came with a, like a yellowish mustard turmeric colored elastic. It came with also the leather care instructions, which this is the exact same thing, just in Japanese. Um, and then here's that extra blue elastic. Don't throw that away, keep that. So let's get these to the side so we can see just how this looks. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's coming across. It looks very black, um, but it feels the same way that my passport felt. It's just so, so, soft, so smooth, and even the inside is the same too. It's just so smooth, a beautiful insert. Uh, and it's, it's hard to tell. Here, this way you can see the difference. See how this one has like a shine to it? It had that from the very beginning. See that shine? Not, it's not a patina because I used it. See how it's evenly everywhere on it? 
I haven't waxed it. I didn't um, polish it or anything. And here, you can see it says, Traveler's Notebook, Traveler's Company Japan, made in Thailand. And the old one just said, Traveler's Notebook, made in Thailand. So look at that. I just wanted to do a quick little unboxing so you could really see, because some people have asked, you know, what is the difference between the old Traveler's Notebook in blue and the new? And the blue new, it's the leather. The leather feels very much, um, here. This is the um, train station. When I first got this, you can kind of see here, it has this kind of suede sort of a feel. And see how the inside is really soft and smooth, like just, like the moisture, like the leather is, has so much moisture in it. Um, I didn't put any stick down pockets in, in this one. And I haven't rolled it because of the um, beautiful gold emblem. Um, but you can see it's it's a different type of leather. It's like a pull-up leather um, Much more different than the brown travelers notebook Or here's my This is my camel. This has a same feel it came with a um, suede sort of a texture and you'll even see the inside see how it's a different type of smooth see how smooth that is and if you look at this one, see how it's kind of a, um, it has that sort of a nap to it, I guess is what you'd call it. It's just a, it's a, it's a different type of leather, a different process, I'm thinking, or maybe even a different um, supplier of the leather for the Traveler's Notebook Company, because they've become so popular, they've had to, um, you know, produce more. But... Look at the difference. See how this has that shine and sheen to it? Why this is much more suede Much more like my olive. So that's all I wanted to show you today. Oh, something that, um, uh, what's her name on Tyrion Designs had mentioned. Um, with, it's something that I have in one of my previous videos. For the Traveler's Notebook, where the elastic comes out of the back hole of on the back piece of leather say you're writing in this notebook and you don't have a paper clip let's take this paper clip off and say you want it to stay open to this page or say it's like a page or two just past the center of the book what I do is I take the elastic and I run it that way. And so it holds all of that down. And I do it on this side because that's where the elastic is. You can do it for notebooks where it comes out of the spine, but you have to, um, it ends up being more like around the corners. But I, I do it to help keep my notebook flat. And like you can see with the standard, you can do it with this too. And that way it'll hold your notebook open. Or here, let's do it with a new one. Say you want this page to be open. Just take it and go over the top and the bottom. And it'll hold it open. It, it seems to work best for me on the um, passport because of the, the tension that I have it on. Because of how much stuff I have filled in here. But it's something that you can do to keep your book open. Now mine, mine tends to lay flat anyways because I don't um, over stuff my notebooks. So there you go. I just wanted to show and share a quick little unboxing of this gorgeous new blue Traveler's Notebook. So I've got three beauties. Actually we have four in the house. Um, the husband has a standard in the blue. So, um, 
leave any comments or questions down below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.